those that were asking the time has come i will be taking custom orders for the lace-up jeans and i've got new colors to offer oh my gosh they're so pretty <laughs> back to my channel it's Jaya but you can call me Holly J and today is Juneteenth shout out to all my brown and black people it's our day we actually are like celebrating this day really recognizing it I know I never really recognized it in only recent years I learned about Juneteenth so you know don't try to downplay those that don't know we're all learning here we've all been you know withheld information about things so for the ones that have always um recognized this day congratulations to you but i'm 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 hyped my job gave me the day off like go them and i'm going to this uh like like a like a vendor mart in st pete with my home girl actually me and this girl we are just it's our first time like linking up so hopefully things go well you know i'm I'm a little nervous you know friend dates be nervous you know and like we trying to feel each other out but she's cool people so we're gonna go do that and yeah your girl is cute okay me and top knots have a love story okay i love top knot buns but i'm real cute today Y'all will see in a minute. Hopefully I get some pictures too. But I'm real hype about today. It's really nice and pretty outside. They said it's supposed to rain. But we'll see. But I'm vlogging today. Got some cool things going on today on Juneteenth. So once again, shout out to my black people. Today is our day. Celebrate it. Embrace each other. We are on our way to new beginnings. Honestly. Like, let's get to the fun stuff. Alright. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. Focus. All right, y'all. I done made it to the mall. I'm waiting on my home, girl. Like I said, I'm a little nervous. It's our first time meeting. <laughs> Not our first time meeting, actually. Actually, actually, we went to undergrad together, and she studied PR just like I did, and we had. A couple classes together but you know how like you'll know somebody there she is right there <laughs> you know how like you'll know somebody but like y'all just never make that step that's us all right y'all we out here i told y'all i'm on my first friend date with janessa <laughs> hello <laughs> The nerves is gone though. The nerves are gone. I no told him I was a little nervous. No awkwardness, no silence. No, none of that. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. We out here, it's hot as hell though. I'm gonna pull a Karen and take my mask. <laughs> I already did. I took it out like three times. <laughs> Andrea Green. Oh, okay, so the stuff up in there, up in here. What's up? y'all left me at my girl dropped me off y'all the date went really well i love people that you know are just authentic genuine and i hate that like surface level small talk stuff so that's what makes me nervous about 
going out with new people and like making new friends but she was just like straight to the point we really we talking about any and everything i love that like even if you just meet somebody yes you don't have to share all your business but that doesn't mean you have to be surface level small talk like how are we supposed to connect so that went really well you guys will be seeing my girl more but i'm at the mall i have more plans for today i'm going to my friend sarah's house which you guys have seen in my vlogs before she's hosting a jean a jean she's hosting a juneteenth dinner and i'm trying to get in contact with her because i can come over now and help her out but she's not answering the phone so i'm gonna go in the mall get me some food probably do some more shopping because y'all i gotta show y'all what i got i supported hella black businesses today i'm proud of myself um and i feel good like i feel good about it so i'm gonna show y'all that i also got a package in today from ego official shoes because i need shoes i need more shoes than what i got but i'm i got i got started and they fire so i gotta show y'all those too but for now we're gonna go up in the mall i may vlog a little bit but you know these public establishments be acting funny about certain stuff so we'll see but first things first i'm hungry so i'm gonna give me some food This is me. Scarf falling off. But anyways, good morning. It is Saturday, guys. I've been up for like an hour. Um, I had a massage plan for today for 2 o'clock. Because earlier this week, my left leg was like tingling. And it was like really kind of scaring me. Felt like I was having poor circulation or something. But... Um, I think it was just a cramp because it moved to my pinky toe and now it's gone. So, I just had to cancel that. Um, so, today's plans are now to pack up, get my life together. Um, yesterday was a vibe. It was a long day though. It was a long day. But, like I told y'all, I had a friend date. It went well like that's definitely now like that's gonna be my home girl um what else and then i went to sarah's house and we had dinner they made wings macaroni and cheese collard greens we had hawaiian rolls on deck um oh and then we um we made this really good drink and we made um we had peach syrup Oh, I'm lying. What the heck? What is it? Oh. We had peach crown royal. And then we mixed Publix lemonade and Publix sweet tea. A drink. Um, So, yeah. It was real chill vibes. Um, We played Taboo. 
Like we played a lot of Taboo and we had Django playing in the background just for the sake of Juneteenth. So yesterday was pretty eventful. Oh, I did some shopping. I supported black businesses. I did, I'm very proud of myself. So I have a mini haul to kind of show y'all. I'm gonna try some stuff on and just show y'all the goods that I've got. Um, I got some shoes, but not from the pop-up um, Juneteenth market thing. I have shoes from Ego Official. I got some things from the Juneteenth market thing. Supporting black businesses. And I had, went to the mall and I got me a few things. Not too many things, but I got me a few things from H&M. Oh, and I really want to do like a video dedicated to um black owned clothing and businesses like do a haul and stuff like that um but my thing is i've been doing like instagram searches but my thing is i don't i don't want like it just don't speak to me the boutiques just don't speak to me since i have um i i was ugh. Let me let me make it make sense. I have been buying vendor lists um, for personal shopping purposes, and I haven't bought anything yet. I still want to like buy stuff. I still just haven't bit the bullet on the vendor lists and stuff. Although I have them, but I've been collecting vendor lists, and after you know going straight to the source and then like seeing the boutiques. For one, I don't really, I don't, the clothes don't really speak to me, like, I have a, I have a certain style and boutiques just don't do it for me. And, number two, if there is a piece on there, I've seen it on the vendor list, like, from the source, and, and it's, it's $60 when I could get it for 12 And I'm a bargain shopper, y'all, I'm trying to tell you, so... They lose me every time with that. So I've been having a hard time trying to find black owned businesses, especially clothing with quality. Not to say like boutiques aren't quality, but I mean boutiques are boutiques. They're made they get their stuff from vendors. It's like, you know. All the you know, all the boutiques have the same stuff. You get what I'm saying? No, no shade, no nothing, but it's just not what I'm into. So I'm looking for like quality black clothing like black designer like you know original designs and manufactured and like i want to spend a pretty pity for some pieces like i want pieces you have your everyday stuff don't get me wrong you gotta have your everyday stuff but i'm looking for pieces so if you know any drop some in the comments um my good sis Catherine is supposed to be doing a video soon and she is a fashion enthusiast so hopefully she can plug me in so i can start shopping and you know serve looks um that's something i really want to do y'all i really want to get my instagram right and i really i want it to be outfit based and lifestyle based honestly i wish people would hire me to model their clothes anyways <laughs> my bookings are open I want to model clothes. I'm still working on this body. But I can suck it in. That's enough of that. I'm going to get up. Take care of myself. And then. I'm going to show y'all what I bought. I have a few errands I need to run. But I have to wait for my mom to get back. So I'm just going to start packing. And I'm packing for Tallahassee. I'm going to be in Tallahassee till the end of July. So I'm like temporarily moving. But it's really just like a month. Um, like a long, long vacation. But yeah, so I'm packing for that. So I was about to show y'all and get my little mini trial haul ready, but my mom has my car and 
the black owned businesses I shop from, I put the bags in my trunk. So they're in there. So I don't have everything. So I don't know if I want to show y'all now or just wait. But I'm kind of pressed. Like I want to show y'all. I may just show y'all what I have what I have right now. So rude. Why couldn't I wait to eat the cherry? I thought I finished my sentence. Anyways, like I said though, I had got some stuff in the mall. H&M. Shoes. But my mama has my other goodies and she is not back yet. And I'm really in the mood to like show y'all. So, I'm just going to show y'all these, try them on, and then we'll get into the other things a little bit later. So we'll do the H&M bag first. So I got a few things. Let's see. So I got these jeans. And you can't try anything on at the mall, so. I'm about to try these on for y'all, but these are a size 8. I went up instead of a 6 just because I'm like, let's just go 8 to make sure they fit next thing i got is this cute like baby doll top dress i'm actually not really sure if it's a dress or a shirt it seems like it could be both but you know um fashionistas typically style this with like jeans so it's probably like a little tunic but i got this i think this is so cute i feel like this is a piece h&m and then I also got some accessories. I got this tan. Oh my gosh, all my nails. Don't worry about it. I got this tan fanny pack. This is so cute. This is only $5. And I was like, bit. Then I got like a graphic t-shirt because I could always use a graphic t-shirt. This one's extra large, so it's really big. But, you know. That oversized look, graphic t-shirts, it doesn't really matter. This was two bucks. I was like, whatever. Then I got this. I feel like this is so cute. This is such a look in the making, whether for the beach or, you know, out and about. But it was super cute. And that's what I'm trying to do a better job about. I'm trying to do a better job of getting pieces. Um, and then the last thing from H&M are these cargo pants and y'all gonna see why I got these because typically I wouldn't go for this I don't know I think the colors really speak to me so I'm not surprised that I picked them up but if they were in like regular camo probably not but these colors work really well you see I got this like that could be part of the look period mention I also have some shoes from ego official they have the cutest shoes the trendiest shoes and y'all know i'm pretty obsessed with like the smaller heel this is actually a higher heel than the orange ones but there's a reason why i'm really feeling these lower heels one i don't think my ankles are really strong like i guess i could work on that but i don't do well in really high heels and number two they're cute i also got these I love these. I've already tried these on. Almost warm yesterday. Real cute. Sandals. And then the next pair are these snake skin ones. Like they're the thong ones. Square toe strap around the ankle. I love a strap around my ankle because I have really I have kind of skinny legs. They're long too. Um pretty proportionate person but there's just some things that I notice other people don't so there's little things and tricks that I like to do to just be more flattering so I really love strappy heels so again those are fire these will get a lot of use literally any kind of snake skin whether it's neutral or colorful is such a versatile shoe and then the last shoe are these Bottega, whatever that name is, that luxury name is, knockoffs or like, you know, inspired. And these bad boys are so cute. And do you, do you, oh, 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 you see, 
You see the, okay. You see the vision? Oh, okay. All right, so those are the shoes. I also got a purse from Ego because they sell accessories. And it is Louis Vuitton inspired little bag. You know, the little jewelry box bags. Um, it's called a Scott bag or something something like that Scott yeah I think it's a Scott bag or something and so I'm just gonna put the handle on it and then it comes with its own little scarf and whatnot I thought that was cute and honestly like the boutiques are selling their version of this but theirs are always square and it's just not it's not it's inspired but they don't take the shape of Louis this one is like the first one I ever saw that actually is circular and really took the inspo directly from Louis Vuitton so I had to get this one Ooh. had to get this one and if you know me and you've been on this channel long enough you already know I'm finna DIY this this gonna say Louis real soon boo oh okay yeah like if you already know what this channel be on and what I be on you already know I'm about to customize this and it's gonna say Louis real soon so don't even worry don't even much worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it then lastly i got me my crocs i've been wanting some crocs my friends been saying they gonna give me crocs they never gave me no crocs so i had to go ahead and get my own i got the ice blue they're so cute i love them i love them I gotta get me some gibbets and I'm still deciding if I want to like bling them out or do any you know Jaya type shit to them but we'll see for now I'm satisfied and rack room shoes always just buy one get one half off so I got another pair because I have a another DIY in mind for these ones so I got the white pair and that's coming soon so remember i'm doing a diy on these crocs just uh stay tuned to see what i have planned all right so now i'm gonna try them on so y'all can see you know all the stuff that i got on me i'm gonna do a little a little short a little styling a little bit too but yeah, and I'm going to show y'all what I got from the Juneteenth Vendor Mart too, because I got some cute pickups and I really wanted to show y'all that, but I'll just have to wait till later. Y'all, so this top I've already had. This is from my Shein haul. It's actually dirty, but I just took it out before I washed it <laughs> to style this look. So these are the pants. I really like them. I will say, they not letting the booty booty all the way. I feel like I really could have used the eight just so that everything can like sit. But I like these so much, so we just gonna ride it out, you know? And they do a little cuff at the end. So on camera, you know, these shoes look like a perfect match, but they're actually a little bit more pink. Yeah, on camera they look good, but they're a little bit more pink pink beige nude then like this bag which is like a cool tone nude and i really like this nude but i think if i went out i would still wear them so this is the first one i like these pants i like this look maybe without the fanny pack but the fanny pack just you know you gotta accessorize, but that's those. I forgot, I got shades too. 
And I figured I had got shades, but I didn't see them in the package. They put it in the shoe box. I finally got the baddie shades. And I literally just supported a black business yesterday thinking I didn't get these. And they're similar, but they're not exactly like this. So now I got two variations, period. I love these. I think all, all girls love these. Every time we see them, we want them. Yes, I ain't going nowhere though. Where I'm going? Where I'm going? Ugh. It's been a minute since y'all seen me, but my shoes are um organized. That's about all that got organized, but I'm kind of proud of that. I've been watching Pose season two all day, basically. But um, yeah, I'm about to go over to my brother's house to hang out. You know, tomorrow's Father's Day. And my sister-in-law's parents are over, so food's over there, family's over there. I was stuck here just trying to finish up the clothing aspect of packing, and I actually have. So, I got my three suitcases. I got that bag full of underwear and bras, and then all I need to pack now is just toiletries, makeup, things like that. I know this seems like a lot, right? But, and it's like, Jay, you just going for a month. But, you know, it's summertime. And, you know, we're not under the strictest things anymore. Like, I can go to city to city. I might not be going out to the club. But, like, things could happen. I just want to be prepared. I hate to be unprepared and I would hate to have to like always go get me something to wear like it's just not necessary I just have everything that I just feel like could cover any kind of basis why am I explaining myself to y'all I don't know so I'm about to head out my edges are so crunchy they're not even crunchy they're actually soft but they're just not you know swoop material baby hair material but yep yeah, we're just gonna go I got my Crocs on. I'm pretty ashy. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the daddies out there. All the stepdads, the father figures. We appreciate you. We love you. We need you in this world. So happy Father's Day. I am in the midst of about to run to Lowe's to get my dad a gift. Um... And then I'm hanging out here for a little bit and then I'm on the road to Tallahassee. So, update. This is my luggage. Still trying to figure the little just things girls need type of stuff. I gotta get those things put together. But first things first i gotta go run and do this errand to get this gift card for my dad and a car my goodness y'all i was cuter than this it's so hot outside but i just took all my luggage to my car oh my gosh you can see me it's so hot um so all my stuff's in my car and guess what It's so hot outside. But I just took all my stuff down to my car. Heavy, big, small. I did it all by myself, you know, independent. Um, before I log off and close this vlog, I wanted to show those that were asking. The time has come. I will be taking custom orders for the lace-up jeans and I've got new colors to offer oh my gosh they're so pretty oh in that video you saw I had green already but I have gold 
I could go yellow. I got another green because the green I have is more of like a subtle green. This one's like parrot neon green. I have white because I just feel like white is classic. I would want a white pair. So I have white. I have orange. This one's really cute. I have pink. Of course, you have to have pink. I'm so excited. And I have blue. These are the colors that I could grab this time. The place that I get these from, they have so many colors, but um, I don't think it's my video to have people going to go buy stuff. I'm not gonna be big headed, you know? But when I first looked on the site to get more colors, there were so many colors. When I first went to just get the green I wanted, there were so many colors available. And then when people started asking me to make them and all this, and I kept checking the website, the colors were like slimmer and slimmer. But people do use this stuff for other projects, like like knitting, but not knitting. Like I can't really explain it. I don't really know what it's called. It's like macaram, macaram, something people use this stuff for. So I have to have competition with them. But I think I got some really dope colors. So I'm excited. If you want a pair of jeans, you need to be following me on Instagram. Like, this is not even just a subtle plug. Like, if you came to my channel and you saw those lace up jeans and you thought, man, I want her to make me some, you need to be following me on Instagram because that is where orders will be taken. That's where you'll find out information on, you know, just everything. So go ahead and do that. Follow me, Holly XJ. And I'm excited because the people have been asking for this. And I really thought, okay, I made the video so y'all can make it yourself. But some people still want me to make it. So I'm like, okay. So more details coming soon on my Instagram. Go follow me and get you yours, boo. But this is the end of this video. I have to drive later today and it's Father's Day. So... I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I asked you guys a few questions, so there should be some comments down there. And um, push that bell because I will be posting again and you don't want to miss. So, that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.